Wow, God, DW fam, and welcome back to another video. Or I should say, welcome to a video because I know it's been forever that we haven't posted anything. But such is life. A lot of things have happened. Um, kids have gotten older. My life dynamic has changed. Obviously, we moved, and I think that's where we left off. Like, we moved into the place, and I gave you guys the moving vlog like, before we moved in. And I didn't really continue from there. Um, but yeah, at the moment, I'm at my sister's house. She just got her new place, which is fantastic. Say what's up. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, but she's currently doing my hair because I'm on a new journey to... Wait, wait, wait. Drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> to my career where I am now going to be heading back to... I'm now heading back to school um, to become a dental hygienist. Woo. So, woo! It has always been a dream of mine to be a dental hygienist. I've been an assistant now for mm, almost 10 years, actually. That's crazy. I finished in 2014, um, and I've been working since then as a dental assistant, a certified level two dental assistant to be exact, you That's know, right? right? right. <laughs> um, but yeah, in that time frame, I obviously had children, got married, um, my life expanded, things changed, we moved, all of that jazz. But Dental hygiene is coming up like literally next week and my hair needs to be done. So that's why my sister's doing my hair now. And it's the holidays. So and it's the holidays. Cute. Right, right, right. We can look cute. Um, but I didn't want to end this year without starting something. Um, sorry that I'm looking down. I have to bend my head. <laughs> um, without um, starting something, I still want to do like a lot of stuff, guys. Like there's just so much on my list. Uh, which I will complete. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, it will get done. Um, like, I didn't even want to post a video until I got an intro done. And then I was like, you know what? I need to just post something because I need to let you guys know that we're still here, that we still want to have you guys a part of our family, that we, you know, we love the dynamic. And I had a lot of people actually private message me and say, where are you guys? And I'm just like, we're here. <laughs> just in silent. Um, but a lot of things are coming. Christmas, Poppy's birthday. He is going to be three. Whew. This kid is going to be three. And my niece is right after a week, after eight days to be exact. She's also going to be three. Um, that's crazy. Like me and my sister right here, Nico, we've been pregnant together. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but it was also like, it was like a whole thing. Like it was COVID. We had our COVID. Like it was a lot. It was a lot. And I felt like. We just need to refocus on our life and just, you know, sometimes it's better to stay silent in some cases, you know. Um, but anywho, Kamaya started a new school. Mm -hmm. She is now seven, almost eight. That's crazy too. She loves her new school. Oh. And it's great. She's thriving. Mm -hmm. She's so helpful. She's, she's taller. Much taller. She's, you know. Kids like my shoulder like mm -hmm. right now. I'm just like, oh she's my god. She's still the same loving sweet girl. Mm-hmm. Still has the same laugh. I love her laugh. You know, yeah. Pretty eyelashes, my baby. But I may say, Seven has brought me some attitude. <laughs> my God, the attitude has come out. And I mean, whoa, it's a lot. <laughs> so it's funny. a lot, but you know, I, I take it day by day. You know, I love that little kid. Um, but it also makes me feel like, you know, when they have the attitude, like, it's almost like she's almost in her teenage stage. She's almost always always telling me mom only a few more years until i'm 10 and then mm. i'll be a teenager and then i'll be like i'm like whoa slow your roll <laughs> you have to make it to eight to nine to ten. like you know you have to go slowly um it's so quick to grow up and then as soon as you're an adult you're like ah oh, snap right right they don't even know the life of an adult oh, is we wish we can just go back and enjoy small hmm. things you know um how they're enjoying their life now but yeah um school so school starts monday um it's gonna be a lot i'm gonna be doing kind of a duo kind of thing working and going to school um managing house manager work and i must say i was stressed for a long time a very long time leading up to school and then i said you know what i can't let fear overtake anything and i just have to trust in god and then yeah. everything will just fall everything. into place 
and that's how it's been going you know i'm just taking it day by day mm -hmm. um i prepare myself well by looking at all my you know just the lectures that they're posting and you know keeping myself ahead of time ahead of the schedule so that i don't have to be too bombarded um because being a mom being a wife you know a daughter, a daughter it's, it's, right it's a lot to also have a, a social friend. life oh. And to also manage all those things, all those titles, all you know, but it all works out in the end, and there's no nothing more rewarding than having God by your side and your a strong community behind you as well. I would like to share some advice mm. if I can. So I used to be very anxious, very very anxious. I was even anxious to drive. So I, I waited a long time before I got my driver's license. Something that has helped me get over this anxiety was I did do therapy so which was nice like that like that helped because they kind of um they just think positively and you know it's either said than done but we did some exercises and that really helped so but I feel like my biggest thing that has helped me was just remembering because anxiety is just fair right so the biggest thing has helped me whenever I'm like anxious or I always think about like what am I scared of and think like it's okay. Everything's going to work out. And I say it because if you really think about the time where you thought you're on your last and you weren't going to make it and you just really did not, you know, you really were like, I'm out of this. Like, you know, I'm, I'm checking out whatever it may be. God has always pulled you through. He has always pulled me through. Always. Like times where I thought like, I'm, this is, I'm done. Like life, what's the point? I'm done. God has always made the situation better. So I'm no longer... I'm no longer anxious. I do not. Yeah, this time you may be a little stressed, but I no longer live in fear of like, oh my gosh, it's not going to happen. I know it's going to happen. And I know it's going to happen for me, to me, when it's supposed to happen because God has always made it happen. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that's what's helped me. So just always think about like your worst situation and be like, wow, I made it through that. And why did you make it through? Because God pulled you through. And he's going to do it again. And just with that, trust me, no more anxiety. And that's what's helped me. Girl, that's it. Like, I didn't think about the worst time. I'm like, shoot, the worst time. And I'm just like, I made it through that. Mm -hmm. And I remember saying, like, shoot, I don't even have $10 for groceries. Mm -hmm. I made it through that, and I got groceries worth $60. Okay. And it's like, whoa. And it's like, God's always going to make a way. You may not know when, but you know why? Because he loves you. Mm -hmm. And you just got to know everything's going to work out. Because it's always worked out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's yeah. always worked out. Like, just... What's the point of worrying, you know? You're worrying yourself, you're, you you know, put yourself in like a this, this, um, depressive state or what. It's going to work out. So, it's All the time. especially for the holidays, especially now with the, the prices increase, you know, they're saying we're going into a uh, recession, all these crazy things going on. It's just mm -hmm. really take some time to reflect, reflect with God, figure out what you want, and then narrow down how you're going to get it. Mm -hmm. And just give praise and all the glory to God because without Him, nothing. And honestly, the situation can always be worse. So, you know, that's my little piece of advice for the holidays. Happy holidays, everybody. Stay safe. Budget. Budget. Oh, let's go into budgeting. Don't oh. be trying to buy. Whoa. Let's go <laughs> into bud business. budgeting. Is is going to be your number one factor because 2023, I don't know what it was with this year and money. Mm -hmm. But money seems like it's not there. Okay. <laughs> and we have to make it go. Like, okay, I must say my biggest accomplishment for 2023 was paying off my whole OSAP loan. I paid off. And that was from 10 years. Okay, listen. I finished school 2024. Not, I'm lying. Why am I saying 2024? I finished school in 2014 from dental assisting. And when I finished, I did not make any payments to OSAP because I had OSAP taking OSAP in that time. And yes, I received a lot of grants and whatnot and a lot of scholarships. So I did all of that. But at the same time, I still had the loan portion to pay. And with that, I just slugged it off. I was like, yeah, whatever. I'm going to do the minimum payments. And then I went into paying. It was like the repayment assistant plan or whatever, which I was just like, bro, I have no money. So I'm not paying anything, which I literally didn't. So I was grateful for that but at the same time i wish i had paid it off sooner or took you know but again god makes a way for everything and i did my i took the year of 20 
22, the end of 2022 and, and until July 2023 and I made payments and the pay, the amount was it was what $15,000 and I paid it off in that seven months. Oh um, just in time for her to go back to school. Back to school because mm -hmm. my my goal was that for me to get OSEP again for this program, I need to make sure that I didn't want to have an overwhelming amount of debt. Mm -hmm. So I said to myself, I'm going to pay this off. And it took a lot. It took a There's lot. Something. She it didn't go nowhere. I asked her, let's do this, let's do no. that. Nope, I can't, I can't, I can't. I, I mean, it, it took a lot. But you know what? Just to say, right when God has your back, anything can happen. Mm -hmm. You know? And, you know, it's... It's just it's just remarkable feeling that I even pay that off. Um, and even my goal for even this program, I don't want to end it. I want to make sure I can pay it off. That's why that's why I'm working as well because I want to make sure I can pay off as much as possible, or even my credit card just finish paying that off. But debt is not something you should let control your life. Mm -hmm. But in the same sense, you should not let it. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? You shouldn't let it stack up. You know, you want to tackle your lowest debts first. And in my situation, my student debt was my lowest debt. So I paid it off. And then um, with doing that, I had to use more of my credit card because a lot of my payments were just going straight to that. My, my, all my payments were going to that. Besides rent and groceries and whatnot. But I shoved all my payments to that and utilized more of my credit card, which now my now my lowest debt is my credit card, which is my only debt. Um, so again, that would be paid off, um, God willing, because nothing's going to stop me from doing that. Um, but when it comes to budgeting, you guys don't need to be having the most fanciest car. You don't need to hmm. be having the most fanciest purse and the shoes and all Just of that. Just to show people who not really have it. Ex right. You know, so when it comes to budgeting, what are you living for? What do you mm -hmm. want to accomplish? What is it that you... What is your legacy, you know? Right. Like, what do you want to leave generational? Mm -hmm. You know, it cannot just be for your children. If you don't have children, you don't plan to have children. It could be for your family. It could be for whoever. It could be for a charity. But it's like, what is it? Like she said, what is it that you want to accomplish in your lifetime? And it's like, don't be so social. Because I'm telling you, a lot of people don't have it. Mm-hmm. And they might see them have it on social media, but they don't have it. Mm -hmm. And it's all fun and games until, you know. Until you're in debt. <laughs> and then when you're in debt and, and you're. You can't ask them. Right. Because they're going to say, whoa, how did you, how do you not have it? Yeah. And then you are mm -hmm. fronting that you have mm -hmm. X, Y, and C. It's not worth it. It's Just not worth it. Live your life, be happy, be comfortable, mm -hmm. and make sure you set your goals and along the way seek guidance from God to accomplish and achieve those goals and mm -hmm. that is it especially the holiday season don't get caught up in like just oh just to have it just to have it no make mm -hmm. it make sense because mm -hmm. you want to look back and make sure all your purchases are just just make sense like you know right like I even just moved in here and it's like I have a lot of stuff I'm just holding on to and I'm like why am I holding on to this why am I holding on to this? Why is this here? And it's just slowly just trying to like, and honestly, just clearing your space out just gives you a good sense of clarity. So adding more stuff to your, you know, to your space, like during the holidays, just for no reason, it's just pointless. Yeah. Because it just really affects you mentally, like physically, just affects you, you know, you're in that space 24 seven or whenever you're home, you know, and... And even when you just move in somewhere, okay, let's say you wanted that, um... You wanted that mirror mm -hmm. and you really wanted a certain mirror and you're just like, you know what? I'm just going to buy this cheap mirror. Listen to me. If you're going to buy that cheap mirror for $20 and mm -hmm. you, you really wanted that $100 mirror, why not just budget for that $100 mirror? You do not have to buy it today. And the quality, honestly, quality does matter. Yeah. You and, do not have yeah. to buy it today. Who are you showing that you need to buy this item today? Yeah. Save for that. Save that $20. You put it aside. Okay. Five Every dollars will get you your mirror. Yeah, that's it. Just like that. And honestly, and that's actually like doing little stuff like that too. I feel that's a good tip. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> you got me a mirror for you, a mirror for that wall. So yeah. I'm gonna do that because like that, cause like it gives you a sense of accomplishment too. That knowing that you disciplined yourself and mm -hmm. you saved and you put aside. 
that gives you a good sense of accomplishment. You know, you, you did that. And if you can do it once, you can do it again. You can do it many times. Many, 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 many times. Many times. Yeah. I, my, one of my secrets that I was doing was um, I would get my, because I made sure that my accounts have a certain lock at it. So if I mm -hmm. have money that I need to transfer over, I can't go, I can only transfer a certain amount. Cause I know myself. I, would make, yeah. I I love to shop, but at the same time, I hate going to places if it's too crowded. I don't like crowds, anyways. But I would move it into my kids' account because my kids, I have accounts with them that are like they won't get cards until they're like thirteen or whatever the case is, um, their own debit card. But I moved it into my kids' account, and then so instead of anything for like bill wise was coming out of my account, it wouldn't come on my direct account. I'll have to then transfer it from my kids' account, put it into my thing, so that in time. Like if Netflix was coming out or whatever, in time to make sure that it would come out directly from there, and then that was the case. Um, but I have to, you know, if I needed like three hundred dollars, I know I put a max limit for me to transfer over for that day. So if I want to do it, I had to make sure I timed it out. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. budgeting is key from 2023 going into 2024 and onward. Um, I need to create a budget. I need to create a budget and stick to it. So now that I move, I think I'm able, I'm gonna be able to do that. Time to know exactly what you know once I got these. Write it down. I write know, it right? down. Write then, down your expenses. I go grocery shopping. I think I think it's grocery. I go grocery shopping, and I don't have a budget for grocery shopping. Oh my! I just get what I need because I need. Which to eat. is true. We do and need then, to eat. Yeah. By the time I eat that, I'm like, shoot. Like today we went to Walmart. Remember 105 gone. Yeah, we went to Walmart. She didn't buy nothing. She didn't buy nothing. We buy almond milk, we buy bread, we buy crema. Mm -hmm. Like, that it don't make sense. I bought apple and banana. I don't understand where what I spent for 105. If you guys, like, you know, it's, so I need to do a, a grocery budget. Like, even if, like, okay, 200 a month, or whatever. You know, like, probably spend, and then based on what I spend the first time, I'll kind of know what it's going to be next time. Right. That's what I need to do. Milk prepping is also very good if that's the case, if you're going to be budgeting for grocery. Yeah, if you could, yeah. like, say, you know, I'm going to make a lasagna, this lasagna can make oh. me. If, instead of you making, yeah. right, instead of you making oh. one dish, you could make Freeze two it. small dish, make, eat that one for the, or whatever, for the three days, oh. two days freeze the next small dish mm -hmm. so then for next time you want to eat it next week mm -hmm. next two weeks and or that's whatever a great trick for like like moms or like just parents in general and mm -hmm. just kids in school or like whatever you're homely sometimes you can't always come in the, you know yeah you it's hard get pizza, just pop that lasagna in the oven yeah that's mm -hmm. yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna make lasagna and freeze it make mm -hmm. a casserole and freeze it yeah that's what i've been doing with my macaroni pies and stuff you think yeah. i have time to be cooking every day you want um, the kids to you be do eating do, um you do pancakes right oh i do the pancakes i would make a whole bag of pan like a whole stack okay. of pancakes from like a Sunday and freeze it Smart. because my kids go to my grandma's house early in the morning and I don't feed them at home because I have to get to work at a certain time. So they're transferred to my grandma's house. So I will make a whole bunch of pancakes. I'll have some in my freezer, some in her freezer so that they can have, um, it's ready to go and it's ready to go and waffles. And that's nice too. Cause you can also add stuff. You can add like flax seeds, chia seeds, right. blueberries, right. like all these frozen, you know, good stuff. Mm -hmm. And that way when they're ready to get it, it's, you don't have to stand over the stove and make it. Oh yeah. Smart. I'm going to do that. Yeah. I see people do it with like, um, sandwiches too, like a breakfast sandwich. I did want to try that. I did yeah. see someone do that too. And Especially they just they put it in a, if you want, you're, you're going to work, right? You yeah. You have breakfast. Like you just have yep. to grab your breakfast sandwich, pop it in the microwave or something. Mm-hmm. And your break, or you get to work and then pop in the microwave. Yep. Instead of always stopping for food, because like that adds up, and it also does take up time. You may think, okay, it's only five minutes. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back. Sorry, there were some technical difficulties there. Um, but yeah. Anyways, needless to say, let your dreams come to life. Figure out what you want to do in life. It doesn't have to be school. If it is school, figure out the path that you need to take. If it's rather if there's certain subjects you need to do, rather it is um a certain shadowing or placement you have to do beforehand. Look into those things. St um map it all out, you know. Do a vision board if you have to. Let these things come to life. But if it's not school, if it's something like you want to be an entrepreneur and you want to pursue something that you have true passion for do it but again it takes a lot of um what's the word i'm looking for nigua it takes discipline. It takes discipline right it takes a lot of discipline 
to get anywhere in life. So rather you're budgeting, rather you're prepping, rather you're going to school, rather you're going, you know, to fulfill music or dance or, you know, something of that sort. Do your research, you know, plan it out, make a vision board, write everything out, you know, to help you be successful in any path that you want to be on. Um, but with that, we are going to be entering, well, ending off 2023 with, I'm thinking of maybe the 12 days of Christmas. I'm thinking of getting an intro started for 2024. So I think 2023, I'm just going to use our old intro and in 2024, I'm going to start something new. Um, and then we'll see how that goes. And then also there's going to be, I'm trying to map up my day. So I'm thinking maybe there'll be a day where we do just my school vlogs and like updating you guys weekly on how my school is going, any changes, like how am I taking it? <laughs> Um, and then I'll also do like something with the kids, maybe like a challenge, like something fun, um, so that they can remember as well. Um, and I'm trying, my aim is to at least do three to four vlogs a week. So we'll see what the other two, I'm, a week, a week. Yeah. I'm yeah. trying to, I'm trying to be on that game. I'm trying to be, you know, I want to just push my videos out there. Maybe I'll start with two. Maybe I'm being a little ahead of myself. Maybe let's see where two goes. There goes Kabaya. Hi. Sorry. Yep. I'm all the way at the top. Yo, what? Yeah, you gotta come all the way up. Yeah. I'm making a video. You wanna say hi? Okay. This is Kamaya now, guys. Hi. Oh my god. Yep. So yeah, I was just telling them what we're trying to do for the new year, Kamaya. She's been begging me to get back on YouTube. I hope you're so I'm thinking, I was just telling them maybe something for school, maybe a little challenge. What else do you think we should do? Um, maybe go on vacation. Oh, that's right, girl. We should go on vacation, but mom got to finish school first. She's a travel baby. She, <laughs> she loves. She, she grew up on a plane, okay? She loves vacation. She loves it. She loves it. She loves it. Um, or maybe go to Wet n Wild or something. Well, that'd be more in the summer. The summer we did do a Wet n Wild, I think once or, or twice. Maybe we could go sledding. Yeah. yeah, we should do that. We should do we'll more winter activities. Yeah. And then we agreed to do one thing a month. Or maybe month. make just a thing. Just one thing. Just one thing. Just one thing. Just once a month. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I want to ice skating. We just need one. Once I want to see That's how true. I improve That's my true. ice skating. Oh, yeah. No, last time she went, you were there, Nikola. We yeah, went down to Nathan Phillips so Square. Fun. Yeah. That was fun. I want to go there. Okay, well, we got to do yeah, something. We got to gonna be planning things out. Um, and make another adventure out of it, out of life, you know? Mm -hmm. Alejandro wants you. Uh, you can bring him upstairs. Okay. Just hold his hand. Okay. But yeah, guys, that is the plan for 2024, 2023, Maya. I should say. Yeah. Do you want a cupcake? Yeah, we got our cupcake already. Oh, sorry. Hey, hey, bring me my, bring me my Kit Kat, please. Where, where is it? It's on top of the microwave. And I look in the freezer and bring two ginger ale. <laughs> Are you yeah, yeah, two ginger ale. We love freezer. ginger ale. Can they drive? <laughs> Can they drive? If you're, if you're ever watching this, sponsorship. Okay? Yeah, but tell ya. Sponsorship. I remember Kevin used to. I used to tell Kevin when I was like we first started dating. I'll be like, I'm drinking ginger ale. I'm drinking cat. He's like, what is that? When I went to go to stay with him in 2015, I packed a barrel. And I went to stay with him, and then when I stayed with him, I packed the whole barrel of ginger ale. I'm telling you, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, this is what you're talking about." And I'm like, "Yep." I love yep. cold ginger ale. There's nothing like it. Look, Brian's coming. I think Ali's coming too. But yeah, that mm, mm. sweet to the stomach. Uh -huh. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. But yeah. Oh, I'm gonna make you guys see Ali too. He's big too. These kids are humongous, man. They growing. And then I will say bye. I think you guys will see. Yeah, yeah, we went to Jamaica with these kids. I didn't even tell you guys about that. We went to Jamaica. These kids were like yard picnic. Like they were. No, Poppy was. Poppy a yard. was a yard picnic. That boy. Yeah. He's walking like he owns the street. He's yeah. walking like he has no hair. Like I'm. I'm. This is this is my home. Mm -hmm. You know, he loved the water. Mm -hmm. He did so good in the sun. Oh. Hi. He's 
so good. Like this puppy. Thank you. Say hello, Ali. Like, let, 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 them see him. let them see. Where is he? Ali, say hi. Hi. <laughs> you got Play-Doh? Can you bring him to Pee Pee, please? And. Wait, wait, wait. Like and subscribe. This video is not sponsored. <laughs> but. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Pop it, pop it. Watch out. Woo! Hmm. You hear the season? What are you guys doing? Uh, I thought you were supposed to be bringing her here. Go and pee. Bring the baby to pee. <laughs> watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch, be careful with the stairs. Come on, don't leave it. It's frozen. Sure. And that's our life on a daily. <laughs> All right, so there's more of that to come. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will be sure to see us in the next video. We love you guys, daily. And thank you so much for the support and the continuing support. Um, and we'll see you guys soon. Ciao. Say bye. Bye. Bye.